Oh my god, no way, she's joining it. No way, our dead mother is currently joining in on this. Oh my good god. You know what? A vibe. Hey guys, welcome back to another part of the Short Life Span Legacy Challenge. So today is episode six of the third generation, and we are gonna be having a baby today. And not only is it gonna be a baby, it's gonna be an infant. And I'm so excited because I've only played with infants like for like two seconds, so I can't wait to like get into it and like see how they are. Although we don't have grown together, obviously, because of how the way this series works. So I don't know how they're gonna be, because I've heard that they're kind of kind of boring without growing together. So hopefully they're not too bad. But um, if they are, that kind of really sucks. So yeah, they're already bad as is, but you know, they're kind of annoying. So yeah. Okay, I haven't played with this series in like a whole week because I don't know I just haven't really gone around to it because of the new pack and everything so I can't wait to get back into it and play with these guys because I just feel like I've missed them so much like they are definitely some of my favorite servants I've ever made and I just can't wait to start playing with them again so anyways okay let's get into it okay so we are here with Zara and Zola I still don't know why I picked those names I'm such an idiot like I really just set myself up for failure by using those names because they are so annoying to say Zola and Zara like you kidding me I miss it up like my, if you guys don't see for how much I have to edit out me saying the wrong name is unreal oh my god a person family member that's a new thing right I have not seen that before also if you got to go to work yes okay well then mine won't be doing that okay so let's go ahead and go to work zara also not zara oh my god zola this is what i mean today is actually zara's birthday which i'm so excited for can't wait to see how she's gonna look as a teen because obviously like that's where it starts getting fun you know kids are kind of boring so we do need to get her a cake the only thing is is i know that zola has work until 11 p.m tonight which is a real shame i don't know if they'll manage to be here for zara's birthday but i mean i guess we could hold off till tomorrow morning i might try my best because then it's like friday i feel like it makes more sense and then we can start high school on monday rather than tomorrow so we'll try and hold off hopefully she won't age up in the meantime but let's go ahead and get you to work babe i hate this outfit so much it's horrific like babes i don't even know what's going on but it's disgusting bloody zesty's outfit is terrible as well like look at that mank that is mank i think oh i never got her up to a grade a okay that kind of sucks i didn't realize that she was so close my bad let's see if there's like anything we could do she wants to get a creativity up and play with three toys like i say we can't actually do the three toy thing because we don't have any but we can at least do some shapes and hopefully get that up a little bit i still want to like upgrade this house a little bit more because it's still a little bit sad especially some of the rooms like zola's room is a little bit sad hey Oh my god, Desi's home and she got promoted to an ensemble author. She makes 44 smiles an hour and she got a PC as well. And she also swiped an object. Babe, you are so... <laughs> that is not good. Um, Yeah, but we got like a PC or something. <gasps> oh, oh my god, that's way better than ours. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that. Oh my god, that is so snazzy. Oh my god. Okay, also we have a sketch pad, which I totally forgot about. So we'll put that down as well for her. We also got like some of this random stuff. I think I'm just gonna sell this, to be honest. Also a stack of dirty dishes, of course, that she stole from work. Because obviously we needed that in our household. <laughs> oh, that's where Dakota grave is oh my god okay let's put that down because i do want to make sure we keep that oh and there's also this style board thing we can go ahead and put this in her room as well this is kind of like the perfect place to put it so we'll just put it there and then honestly the rest of this stuff we'll just keep oh wait that's a tiny photo of hay oh my god that's so cute oh, oh i kind of miss those sips i can't lie to you guys let's pick up the graves so that we make sure we have them because i honestly i really do not want to lose their graves to be honest and now she needs to get up her writing and her photography skill okay well, i don't think we've even started with that so we'll have to try and do that at some point maybe she can come up here and like start like playing some games or something to kind of get a funnel. I'm actually gonna get Des- Oh, I forgot it's Zesty's pregnant. I'm so sorry. Zesty's in a third trimester in, <laughs> in 12 hours. I totally forgot about that. I don't know if we'll even get to an infant stage at this point in this episode. I really hope so. I'm gonna go ahead and bake a cake for Zora's birthday so that we have it all ready for tomorrow. Also, what is this outfit? Like, I just don't even know. I mean, to be fair, this is ever so slightly better than the last one, but like, it's just hideous, okay? It's just hideous. Got the cake there ready for tomorrow. Let's get Zora to sleep. I really, I really like how she looks so she goes up. I feel like she's got like so much of Dominique in her, so I feel like it'd be like really fun to like have kind of a different looking sim because obviously these two are blue so it'll be kind of nice to not have a blue sim in the house that's a, that's like a teenager but it'll also be just nice to see how she looks so take a pregnant you aren't pregnant though are you i swear I, I did check that please say you're not okay you're not thank god i could not deal with two babies right now like first of all i do not want you to be pregnant anyways but second of all no oh we also have the option to do how do you do this is it home call adoption agency is that it wait no that's not it. i thought there was like a thing am i mistaken i swear someone said that there was like a thing hire a service do you think it's under that i don't know i swear there's like a thing where you can like have a baby Baby, but it's like have a, a science baby but like i can't seem to find it if i do hire a service does it no i'm confused is that just from the new pack i could have sworn that was from base game though i don't know i'm very confused right now <laughs> i have no idea maybe maybe it's just from the new pack i could have sworn it was base game i'm so confused i don't know we'll have to figure it out maybe it's on the is it on here instead like households no i can't see it anywhere i'm so i'm so bamboozled i'm so bamboozled right now like i have no idea zara never knows why he's lurking in the dark darkness is nothing but a veil to hide the most gruesome and terrifying creatures of the night she feels like they could pop out any moment and lately this man named vlad he was calling babes you realize that vampire oh no i thought the monster why do i have no idea what things are from which pack because i could have sworn the monster under the bed was from kids room why do i have why am i so bad at this what <laughs> why am i so bad 
fun of this. I swear, I'm like always fully under the impression. I'm like, mm, don't worry, guys. It's not from this pack. Like, it's from this other pack. And then it's somehow not. Like, I swear I have this disabled as well. Everything is just confusing me, okay? I just don't know what's happening. I swear I had this, like, tuned out. I didn't want this. Alarm monster in the bed. Disabled. Yes, okay. Also, can I have it so that we have multiple BFFs? Because I really like it when they can do that. But yeah, no, that's not... Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of that. And then just, like, reset the object. Will it go? There we go. No, never mind. It's still there. Okay. Spray the monster, I guess. That's okay. <laughs> I love this game. Just kidding. No, don't wait Zestil. No, do not wait Zestil right now. Seriously. Seriously. <gasps> You're pregnant? Sister? Oh my god, no. Do not do that. No. Jesus Christ, child. You are very annoying. Just before you turn into a teenager as well. Oh, and now you're eating food. Oh. <laughs> I might cry. Yeah. Slay. Not slay. An unslay, one might say. One might slay. Except they're not slaying right now. They are unslaying. Let's go and have the birthday now because I feel like she's gonna just age up any second. I really don't want that to happen on her own accord. So let's come down here, everyone, and gather. And uh, yeah, we'll have a little birthday. It's kind of a sad one because <laughs> it's very early, but um, yeah, that's fine. She has, because she has school in an hour. Like, I don't wanna go into school, you know? Happy birthday, babes. I'm so sorry that you're kind of like very left out <laughs> in this household. You just gotta accept that you are indeed the non heir. Therefore, you are kind of a left out child. It's just how it works, I'm afraid to tell you this. But there she goes is aging up oh my god hopefully she gets good traits oh my god what if what if she gets like bad traits oh god okay let's go and randomize and just hope please be a good one lazy okay so far her traits haven't been the greatest because like lona's kind of annoying and lazy is also very annoying but like sure i have no idea what she wants to be she's kind of like she likes she liked being creative as a kid maybe we'll go with art or something i don't know i feel like that kind of runs in our family so i feel like that would kind of work yeah we'll go with painter extraordinaire this is how she looks oh my god she's adorable okay let's go and give her a little bit of a makeover now okay this is how she's looking so so she is so cute. Oh my god. First of all, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna make you smile a little bit less. You kind of freak me out a little bit right now. There we go. I know it's kind of sad that I make my sim smile less, but like it just freaks me out, okay? But yeah, so she's so cute. Definitely, I'd say have a, has a lot of Dominique, but like I feel like her eyes are maybe hey, I don't know. You know what? I'm saying this as if I have any idea what I want about. I don't, okay? <laughs> no idea what I'm talking about right now, but here we are. Okay, I know that I sort of purposely made her look sad, but she looks really depressed. Like she looks really upset right now. Like I don't know what it is, but she looks really sad. So that's, I mean, I kind of did it on purpose, but like not to this extent, babes. Like I did, I feel like I didn't make her look this sad, you know? Like, can we just, like, now she looks angry? I don't know. She's kind of amazing, though. Like, she's so pretty. I don't really feel like she's the type to wear much makeup, to be honest. Like, I just don't really see that for her. I feel like she's a little bit more, can't be really bothered to do that kind of stuff. So, I think I'm just gonna leave her pretty much, like, having no makeup. Although, I might just give her, like, a slight wing or something. There we go. And yeah, I think she's so cute. Okay. So, she had that hair as a kid that was, like, I don't even know. It was, is it on here? Do we have the option? I have no idea if we do. Oh, yeah, it was this one as a kid. I mean, I guess we could keep it, but I kind of want to swap it out, just, like, make it a little bit more. Fun, like swap it out to something different. I actually realized I think I do see quite a lot of Hey Hey Wood in her, which I actually really like because I feel like it's nice that she kind of has more of those jeans. Okay, so I've just given her a makeover. I'm not gonna lie, like makeovers take so long when it's like teenagers because you can't do everything again. But <laughs> this is how she looks. Kind of went for like a very like I do not care what I'm wearing kind of outfit because although I say that this is an adorable outfit, but <laughs> I don't really see her to be someone that would really kind of like put too much effort into what she's wearing. So yeah, so this is her everyday outfit. Then we have a formal outfit athletic, sleep, party, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather, which again are totally useless because we don't have seasons. But yeah, I think she's really cute. I end up giving her glasses just because like, I don't know, she suits them. And yeah, I think she's really cute. I just went for a very like chill style and I feel like that's just who she is. She's like a lazy loner. Like she does not care what people think and she does not want to dress up. So yeah, that is her. So let's go back into game. Wait, what does she like? Oh, she likes the color blue. Okay, I did not give her any blue, but <laughs> my bad. <laughs> did not realize that one. I can't lie to you guys. Okay, we are back in game. So she looks super duper cute so i'm gonna go ahead and get her to change into her little everyday outfit and see her in game she is so adorable like i actually love her so much so obviously she doesn't have school today so she doesn't have school until monday so she has like a whole weekend of doing teen things although at the same time she doesn't want to do any teen things because she's a loner so she probably just stay in the house for a little bit to be honest but yes yeah, so oh my god what do you want to do with the grim reaper chat with grim reaper let's catch up with grim reaper why would you want to talk to grim reaper you know the only time you get to chat with grim reaper is when someone has just died, okay? I do not feel like that is exactly what you are wishing for right now. Oh, dear lord. Um, anyways. <laughs> I love my sims. Um, let's just grab some breakfast. Also, you have work today. Okay, you do have work. I could take family leave because you are indeed in your third trimester. However, kind of don't want you to do that because I kind of want to keep getting the money and also, I just feel like she is better off at work. So, we're gonna do this and then let's go and carry on working for a little bit and then these two, 
anything like to chat. I feel like they probably have a little bit more to like talk about because I feel like the thing is is that Zola really doesn't like kids. So I feel like when Zara was a child, like they didn't really get on that well because of the fact that she was a child. I feel like now that Zara's a teenager, they'll probably get on a little bit better. So we can like a person family member, they'll probably impersonate Zesty when she leaves, which is like kind of funny, but like I just feel like they would. I don't know. I feel like these two could have like a really good friendship. So I like that they would get on a little bit better. But yeah, like look how cute she is in game. She's adorable. I love it. Oh, sentiment game. I'm glad you don't think my Lava Joe's getting old. That's so cute. I love it when my Sims have sentiments. It's so adorable. Also, I don't know if you can get like that, like distant slash, you know, like the, uh, what's it called? Family dynamic. I don't know if that's part of the base game or if that's just part of the pack. I really hope it's a base game, but I don't know. Feel confidence are outside at night from Fear of the Dark. Zora is sick and tired of letting the possibility of monsters keep her from going out at night. Nothing can stop her from living her best life. Okay, I don't feel like I'm, my Sims are ever confident, but sure. My Sims are always in a bad mood. I can't lie to you guys. Let's get her to do her homework and, oh, okay, actually, I mean, I guess we could work from home. Uh, okay, we'll work from home. It probably makes more sense. We just need to write an article, which we we're gonna do anyways. So we just get it for like nothing. It's splendid. I kind of want Zola to kind of help out a little bit with their homework because I, I really want them to have like a good friendship. I mean, they're starting to get there. Also, you wanna have a strong relationship with three Sims at once and kiss 10 Sims. I'm kind of thinking if we can maybe work on that today. Like, okay, we have, you guys really like Sophia and Sergio as well as Yuki, which makes me a little bit like, ah, cause like, who do I pick? I don't know. I feel like Yuki is the best to pick, but like, I don't know. We do need to kiss these two. We've already kissed them once, but like we need to kiss them for the aspiration. But is there anyone else we could maybe have a little bit of a flirtation with? Honestly, Marissa is so adorable. Like maybe we can invite over her and like just, mm, just chat, mm, just chat, mm, maybe kiss. Maybe. I don't know. Just a thought. Just a thought process. I don't know. I mean, like, normally I'd make my teen sim, like Zara. I'd normally make her, like, go and, like, befriend some sims. But, like, like I say, I just don't feel like she's that kind of person. I'm just gonna get her to prepare a toilet while she's here. I mean, she's a teen now. She has to help out, you know? Okay, hopefully Marissa's here. Yes, she is so cute. Like, look at Marissa. Like, she, okay, a bit mad right now, but she's adorable. So, I feel like this could be a cute pairing, and hopefully we'll be able to get our strong relationships. Although, if she's in a really bad mood, this might not work out that well. I don't know. Hopefully you're in a better mood, babes. You're already feeling happy. See? A wonderful time. It's wonderful times. Oh, okay. I hate. Can I just tell you guys? Like, I hate this. Like, I said it in my um, other video, my Grown Together series, but I hate it. It is disgusting. I'm sorry. There is something about it that's mang. <laughs> I hate it. It's so stressful. I have to click through so many buttons. Like, I just want to click on Flirt and I have to go through like three things. Like, why is that the case? I don't know, but it really annoys me. So, I just want to let you guys know I hate this in update and I hope someone makes a mod to like undo it because that would be wonderful. <gasps> so, this style column was not accepted. Rude. Rude. Okay, she is single. This should work out pretty well. I'm not going to lie. Zola is like so. Like, I don't know what it is about them, but they just have all the moves. Like, they have all of the moves. They are so good at this. Like, they are such a flirty person. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Oh my god, no. Oh, and our dead mother is calling, saying congrats on your recent birthday. Dear lord, this is terrible. <laughs> This is like really not the mood, Zara. Like, I hate to say this, but like, we're just really getting the mood right now. And like, like, look at them. And then, and then, like, Zola's looking over at Zara, like, can you leave, please? Like, seriously. I think that she's gonna leave. Please leave, babes. Like, oh my god. And now you're taking a selfie in front of the. Oh, babes. This is really not the move. This is really not good. Uh, this is so embarrassing. Oh, I haven't even given you room an update. Okay, I guess I'll have to do that quickly. I totally forgot that Zara was meant to really love the color blue. And I totally just gave her loads of green. That is really embarrassing. I'm so sorry. You guys are probably screaming at me right now. I totally forgot that that was the whole thing. Although, maybe, like, when she becomes a teenager, she kind of goes against it for a little bit. I don't know. Let's just say that because I can't to go back into crazy right now and change it. So, like, let's just imagine. Okay. The upgrade isn't like amazing. And as we all know, uh, building's not my forte and decorate is also not my forte. So, this is kind of very quickly done. This is the room and it's so, so cute. I actually really like how it turned out, to be honest, because it took like three seconds to do it. But I don't know. I quite like it. I feel like they all have this like little brick accent that I really like. And I also am gonna make Zara a lesbian because I don't know. I feel like that's the case. So, anyways, let's go ahead and I don't know what we even do right now. I have no idea. Um, what are we? What were we doing? I got distracted by the building. Oh, they were making out. Yeah. Oh, wait, they weren't making out. Let, let, let's let's do that. You know. Also, I've only just realised that I think this is gonna have to be the baby's room because that was kind of the original plan was to like have one of have that room to be like turn into like a a kids' room when we need it. So I'm afraid that this lovely little room is gonna have to be moved. Like I don't know how it's gonna work. I guess to be fair, it could probably fit in here in Zola's room. So I'm afraid Zola, you are gonna be kicked out of this room once we have the baby. You kind of like dancing. Maybe you could be like dancing. I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and maybe go paint a little bit. So let's like try paint and see how it goes. And you're about to pee yourself. Not ideal. <laughs> not at all ideal, darlings. No, don't go pee. Oh my god. Did you have your first kiss or not? No, go have your first kiss. Quick. Slay. 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 You know what I mean? Sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm literally so sorry. There we go. So we've kit. Oh no, wait. Have a strong romantic relationship with three sims once. Is this not a strong romantic relationship? Seriously? Let's maybe go woohoo. Okay, there we go. It's worked. Okay, so we have that done. We need to get a charisma up and also kiss dead sims. I don't know if that's gonna happen, to be honest with you guys. I don't feel like I've ever actually completed aspiration in this series. Um, should. Time to unpack 
like what has just happened. Okay. Our girlfriend, well, our... Oh my god, this is terrible. I don't even know how to explain this. Siobhan, the girl that is calling right now, is Zesty's baby mama. And she's currently, like, basically about to pop, like, have the baby. Like, Zesty's about to have the baby. And she's phoning, asking if Zesty's parent, Destiny, should go on a date. Like, if they should go on a date. And Destiny, aka Zesty's parent, has asked their grandbaby's mother on a date. I hate this game i don't know what to say if i say i like do i go for the drama and say yes go for it but like in so many ways that is wrong i'm sorry i can't i cannot that is a really bad idea why we're just like we want to be friendly we want to cloud games with destiny as well like look at this the family tree would not even be a tree it would be like a circle it would be a bush it wouldn't even wait oh <laughs> Guys, I don't know how to speak anymore. Oh my god, god. You know how last episode in the neighborhood stories, it was like, hey, and Dominique, the dead people, are planning to have a baby. They had the baby called Malachi, but it's not a ghost. And it's also not living anywhere, apparently. Because how could it be living anywhere? Because they're both dead. I don't even want to talk about this anymore. Like, I just don't want to chat. Like, I just don't even want to discuss the going on of this. But we now have a half-sibling. This is... I it's, I just don't... I just don't really want to really think about any of this ever again. So, yeah. Um, Let's just pretend none of this ever happened. Because if I... Destiny. I, I, I'm not, you're not testing me right now. Okay. Oh my good God. <laughs> I might cry. I might genuinely cry my eyes out. They're about to go woohoo. Good for you, babes. But I don't even want to think about the goings on. No, no, you're not about to do this right now. No, you're not about to woohoo in your sister's bed. No, don't joke. Don't even joke with me right now. Oh, thank God. No, and now she's leaving. I, oh, I just don't even want to do I don't even, I hate this series. I love it, but I hate it at the same time. What on earth? Why? Who? How? What? What is going on in the House of Commons? This is ridiculous. I don't even want it. And now we're like about to pop as well. Like, ah, uh, I am just, I, I was like, this episode's like so chill. Like, it's so nice. I'm like, how chill of an episode this is. Like, it's just wonderful. You know, it's nice to have like a nice chill episode, you know, kind of be quite nice, you know, kind of be kind of calm. And then like, here we are. <laughs> so I just, and now can you even get to the pain in? Oh my God. Why are you just stopping every set, every second? Like genuinely speaking. Look, why do you just start and then give up? Like, what is going on here? And who has work in an hour? Is it Zola has work in an hour? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm just like gonna leave it on fast forward. I'm just gonna sit here. Can't handle this today, darlings. Can't handle this today. And you just won't paint. Like you just absolutely won't paint. You've just given up on the whole paint idea. Like I don't even know why or how or who or what. But yeah. So yeah. Who are you at the door? Who are you? I don't know. What is happening? Yay! We've reached paint level two. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's, like, about to go into labor, which is really concerning because, like, I haven't got a room set up. And, like, the babies are babies for, like, a day, literally. Like, I'm not even exact. This is not an exaggerative term. They are literally babies for a day. So, we will have to get the room set up, which is kind of a shame because I do really like the little dance room, but... I see Max Villarreal over there just spinning in circles. <sighs> Not one word to say anymore. Like, I better, I'm, I'm literally better off just sitting here. Okay, well, we got promoted to open it act, which is good. We got like a big bonus, which is really good. So thank you very much, Zola. You are a legend. Despite the shenanigans going on today, you've managed to keep calm, unlike me. So <laughs> hmm, let's just like head to bed. Mm, like, I just don't really have any more left in me. So yeah. <gasps> Gone into labor. Oh crap. Okay. Okay. Emergency. Okay. You go to the hospital by yourself. I do not have it in me to go with you right now, but have fun. You know, make sure it's just one. <gasps> Wait! Oh my flipping god. I just remembered something, guys. I checked to see how many babies it was without showing you guys, and I just want to let you guys know that I really regret not setting it to one because automatically we're about to have two babies, and I haven't even got any baby name suggestions. I am gonna cry. Let's go on to the comments because I know you guys gave me some really good suggestions. So, Slay. Also, it's a girl. Totally forgot to mention that. Anyways, so there's like so many cool names here, so I'm, I like a lot of them. 
them. But there was one that I really liked and I forgot what it was. Oh, it was Grim. Okay, one of you guys suggested that because of the fact that we flirted with the Grim Reaper, that'd be really funny to call the baby Grim. And I really like the idea of calling a baby Grim. I just find that really funny, like Grim Reaper, you know? Imagine we called the other one Reaper. Would that be a bit confusing? It'd probably be a bit confusing. But yeah, we're about to have two babies. Wait. A miracle has happened. Oh my god. Genuinely, guys, I swear on my life. Like, I swear on my life it was two. I distinctly remember it being two. Like, I know it was two because it was two girls. And I was like, oh crap, this is really annoying. Oh my god. Thank you, Sim Gods. You've really blessed us on this fine day. Um, oh my god, god, we only have to deal with one baby. Because I was like, this is gonna be really annoying because we're gonna have like multiple babies that are infants, and that's gonna kill me. But no, I I don't know, maybe it reset like after the update. Maybe it got confused and had to reset itself. But however, we got to this place. I am so thankful for that. <laughs> this is splendid. I could handle one baby. Well, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I could probably handle one baby, though. Like, that should be fine. This is wonderful. What a wonderful day. Oh, you know what? Who cares about all the weirdness that's happened today? At least look how she's walking. That's so funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be laughing. You just had a baby. I'm very proud of you, but it's quite funny. Oh, just automatically cleaning. What a legend. Ew, you dirty sod. What have you woken up like? Jesus Christ. Please go take a shower, you mank. The sink's broke. You know what? I'm, I'm so sorry, Zara. Like, I am. Like, truly really so sorry but you look kind of smart and like you kind of don't want to go out the house whereas like we do so like you get to do all the repairs because like i can't handle this so yeah you guys you're just gonna have to do it i mean i'm sure she loves it like i'm sure it's fine like i'm sure she totally loves it like don't worry guys seriously don't worry like it's totally fine like she she, she adores doing that it's like a favorite thing in the world so yeah totally forgot that we never actually told siobhan we were pregnant and now we've just got baby uh -huh. hmm. right wasn't really ideal but i mean that's you know after everything that's happened do we really want to tell her like i don't even no, I forgot to give her a makeover as well. I was meant to do that. But yeah, baby Grim. Oh, oh what a bliss this new baby brings to Jesse. Jesse's life. That's so cute. So I ended up not going on a date with Destiny Chin. Sorry to hear it. Not sorry to hear it. Because you bloody sod. That is our parent. Like, there is nothing okay about that situation. Not only is that our parent, but I'm pretty sure they're on the verge of death. Like, okay, no, they're not. Okay, they're not quite an elder. But like, still. Wait, they have two current children. Oh, that's us. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> kind of forgot. I was like, two current children? Who's the other one? Oh, yeah. Us. Uh, like, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I was really in this whole, like, Team Siobhan business. But, like, after this, do we really want to date someone like this? Like, I don't know if, that, if we do, you know? So, I'm, I'm a bit concerned. Also, like, maybe we should go out or something. I don't know. Maybe we should go clubbing or something to, like, make ourselves feel a bit better. Maybe you, if you did, like, a quick, like, mind-centering yoga routine. Oh, the baby's crying. Oh, no. Okay, Zola, I'm so sorry. I know this is really not what you want to do right now, but please take care of the baby. I hate that I have to, like, go all the way here, up to here, and to here, just to bottle feed. Like, I have so many complaints about this. I'm so sorry. Like, I'm so, so, I, I know, but like, I have so many clients. Also, it's her birthday already. Like, what the hell? That is just ridiculous. <laughs> Did you guys see that? That's quite funny. It's not funny. It's quite sad. It's, it's funny. Ew, shut up. You're so annoying. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so mean. Okay, maybe we should like head out. Because like, oh, don't say the diapers. Oh, oh, everything sucks. Why is it like this? Why did, the, why did the flipping nappies like come out now? Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, anyway, let's head out. We'll leave the baby at home alone because, well, <laughs> we'll send the baby to daycare because like, yeah. And let's go to the club. We will take Zara today. I know that she's only a teenager, but like, it's fine. Don't even worry. And let's just like take some of the people. Not Destiny. Okay, they've gone down in my, in my books. Okay, they're kind of annoying now. I just realized I'm probably taking like multiple of Zola's love interest, which is really not going to work out well. Uh, okay, the whole squad is here, so that is sick. So let's just, like, head in. I mean, I know it's, like, 2 o'clock. <laughs> this is going to be the quietest club in the world. Normally, clubs don't even bloody get started until, like, 11 p.m. But, like, we just got to imagine, okay, it's a bit later, because we have a child now, okay? Like, we didn't have time. So maybe we could do, like, a group dance. One, two, step in. Will this work? If I press okay, what happens? Because it's saying at the nightclub we are currently at. And also there's no name for Dominique. Oh, oh, our dead mother is here now. Hayes just here. So that's cool. But there's no baby. So like, what is the... Oh, I forgot... <laughs> Why is this such a broken game? It's so funny. Oh my god, no way. She's joining it. No way. Our dead mother is currently joining in on this. Oh my good god. You know what? A vibe. A absolute vibe. <laughs> I don't even... I can see Zola's face through the inside of their mom. That is so terrible. Dear Lord, this is so bad. Well, you know what? They're kind of working it. Who's this? And now this is our dead uncle. Oh my... I I don't want to even start with this today. Um, Is this the one you date? Yeah, Sophia's one of the ones you date in. I mean, she didn't want to be like a uh, woohoo partner. I don't know like why, but like she just didn't want him. Maybe we'll just go woohoo just because, you know, why not? But too many sims in one place is 
this max capacity? Is this now a fire hazard? What if the ground opens up? Maybe it's time to Zara to sneak out. To be fair, that is so makes sense because she's a loner, so she has a fear of crowded places. Why is she so me? Like, why is this Sim so me right now? Like, it's actually unreal. This is such a dead club. It's so funny. Actually, ah, you know what's funny about that? It's the fact that she's in a dead club and there is two ghosts currently dancing here. It's actually indeed a dead club. Yeah, she's feeling so bad right now. Maybe we should just get her to go home. Like, I don't know. Or maybe she could just like go get a drink. Although she's a teenager. Probably not the best idea. Can we go up here? Oh, you can. Oh, okay. Well, maybe up here is the best move because like she could just like chill up here. Maybe she could like go for a nap, you know, make herself feel a little bit better. Have a little nap. And Zola has work in an hour. I did not realize that. Oops. Okay. Okay. Well, my bad. Maybe we'll just like buy drinks for the group real quick. Because to be fair, we have a decent amount of money now. Way more than we had before. Do they have? Oh, they do have Cupid juice. <gasps> get it. Go get it, babes. Oh, hi, mother. <laughs> you gotta go to work, babes. I'm sorry, but yeah. So you gotta head into work. I think that she's feeling a little bit better upstairs when she's asleep. So let's have this Cupid juice. I mean, I don't know. Like who? Like Siob is Siobhan even here? Like where is Siobhan? Okay, let's invite Siobhan over here and like just see what she's like. I don't even know. Like I'm, I'm, I'm very hit or miss with Siobhan because you guys seem to like them together and I do as well. Like I did like them together, but the fact that this whole Destiny situation has really made me not like her as much. So I don't really know how to feel anymore. If we can, we like ask about a Sim. Like how do you do that? I don't know. Other Sims ask about. If we ask about Destiny, have they got a romantic relationship? That's what I'm trying to ask. Cause like if they do, I I don't even know. Cause at least this way, like at least it wasn't Siobhan asking Destiny out. At least it was Destiny asking Siobhan out, which I don't even know if that makes it any better. Maybe Destiny just didn't know who Siobhan was. Like I guess so. But like at the same time, like it's just weird, man. It's just weird. I still feel like it's very odd, no matter how how you put it. It's still very weird. I have another pleasure to meet Destiny. You have babes. You have. I'm afraid to tell you this. Like if we just like ask to be girlfriend right now, will this work? Like is she gonna turn us down or not? Cause like I would like them to date. Okay. They are dating. Maybe it was just a misunderstanding. I'm just gonna say that it was a misunderstanding, even though it definitely was not. But like, I'm just gonna say anyways, you know, propose. Oh my God. It's Groove's birthday already. Oh Jesus. Okay. Kind of like need to like introduce her to the baby. Maybe we should head home, introduce her to the baby and then age the baby up and then we can end the episode. So let's head home. We'll just take these two back and yeah, she probably needs to meet the baby. That would be a good idea. Okay. Let's go in here and introduce. Can you do that? Okay. Maybe you can't. Let's just go age up the baby now. I know, I know that she's been a baby for like three seconds, but honestly, I'd rather her be an infant anyways, because that's like, you know, it's a fun new life stage. I want to see how she looks and stuff. So let's age her up into a infant. Oh my God, she better be cute. Also, they update the babies uh, and I hate it. Like, I hate that so much. It, I don't know what it is, but I just hate it. So yeah. Also, I haven't seen this interaction yet. Okay, infants, a world of discovery. Communication of place is way to be attained. Let's randomize. You are a sensitive sim. Okay, yay. <gasps> cute. Oh my God. Wait, yellow hair, slay. Matching with Zesty. I don't know why it's so funny that they just float down. Like, that is so funny. I actually love that so much. That's hilarious. Yay. Okay, I do have like a decent amount of CC for infants that I got. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her a quick makeover and see how she looks in Crater Sim. Okay, so here she is. She's so cute. Oh my God. Okay, I actually do like how the infants look. So I'm gonna give her like a skin and stuff. Maybe we could use one of the little like birthmarks on her. You wanna give her this little birthmark, which is adorable. She has no teeth, which is kind of scary, but here we are. I'm just gonna give her like some like CC stuff. I don't really like it when my sims have like the yellow eyebrows. I know it makes way more sense but like, I don't know, it's, it's kind of weird, you know? Give her some eyelashes and stuff just to make her feel a little more like one of my sims. And then I don't really have many hairs, not gonna lie to you guys. It's kind of wait, athletic. What? That's so weird. Oh, that one is so cute. I know that's just like a toddler one. Maybe we should go for one that's like a new one. Like that one is adorable. I also have a couple CC ones like that one, that one, and that one but I'm kind of thinking honestly this one's really cute. So I think I'm gonna go for this because that is just adorable. I feel like Zesty would want to also I just realized, oh my god, the kid's not blue. Okay, I only just realized that. I don't know why I didn't think about that, but yeah, the kid's not blue. So no matter what, she's definitely gonna look quite different to how Zesty looks, which is, I guess, good because it's nice to have the Sims look different. That's like such a cute top. Let's go with that. I don't know why I keep saying athletic. It's so dumb. But yeah, this is a really cute outfit. So I actually love that so much. I feel like Zesty would be like a really cool parent. Like I feel like she'd want to like dress a kid in like all cool clothes. Okay, here are all of the little outfits. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of went for like some styled looks because it's they get she's gonna be a kid for like an infant for like three seconds. So this is her little everyday formal sleep party hot weather and cold weather i love this so much it's so adorable but yeah i think she's so cute honestly the yellow hair is certainly uh interesting on a non-blue sim like it just looks like weird for some reason even though it should be weirder having a sim that's blue have yellow hair but for some reason it just doesn't feel as weird on zesty here she is in game she's so cute i want zesty to like pick her up oh she's crawling already wait what okay in growing together they can't crawl or anything until 
I do all of this stuff. So this is going to be kind of different for me, like playing with them like this. But I guess that's kind of fun, you know? And on that note, guys, I'm going to leave this video here because I feel like this video is so long. I've been recording for way too long. So yeah, let me know what you think of a little group in the comments down below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want. And I'll see you guys in a video. I love you guys. Good.